Meantime, artificial intelligence already making its way into our hospitals and operating rooms where doctors say it could be a game changer from diagnostics to treatment to research. Our Itai Had recently spent the day with one pioneering surgeon here in the Bay Area who says the feature is already here. In Dr. Alan Conway's operating room, the day starts with a good old fashioned scrub, a classic ritual for a surgery that's anything but traditional. How are we looking? A leading vascular surgeon at Marin Health Medical Center, Conway is pioneering the use of artificial intelligence to treat aneurysms, known as the silent killer. It can analyze and help us identify exactly where the aneurysm is. Abdominal aortic aneurysms occur when a segment of the body's largest blood vessel becomes enlarged. Uh, we're going to coil that left hypo first. Left untreated, it could lead to internal bleeding and death. Today, Conway is operating on 81-year-old Gary Sweden, who was rushed to the OR after doctors discovered he had two aneurysms. It was very scary. I was very anxious to get it repaired. We see the aneurysm. But unlike the countless surgeries he's performed in the past, Dr. Conway is using state-of-the-art AI technology called SIDAR Maps, which creates a detailed 3D image of the patient's anatomy. Before, we'd have to do a lot of x-ray, inject a lot of x-ray dye to kind of show us this map. Now we know exactly where the, the aorta is, we know where the aneurysm is. The healthcare industry is on the brink of a technological revolution with AI poised to reshape decision-making before, after, and during surgical procedures. This newest wave of artificial intelligence is so much more powerful and useful. Dr. Kurt Langlotz is the director of the Center for AI in Medicine and Imaging at Stanford University. He says this new technology holds a lot of promise, as long as it's used responsibly. We need to make sure to protect the privacy of patients, and then we need to make sure to assess the accuracy and the performance of each system. As for Gary, his operation was a success. So much so, he's already making post-surgery plans. The first thing I want to do is go fishing. <laughs> it's going to be 10 for 20 at 800. Saving lives with some artificial help for results that are especially real. Now, according to the Society for Vascular Surgery, every year roughly 200,000 Americans are diagnosed with abdominal, excuse me, abdominal aortic aneurysms. So as we inch closer to the